Hey everybody and welcome to part 5 of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. This is Nostalgia Scott and we will be doing the second home world of the game, Autumn Plains. And then we will also be doing some backtracking and if we have time we'll be doing a speedway. So also, we have our very first level here that we can check out, Crystal Glacier. Uh, probably one of my more favorite design levels. As you guys know, I absolutely love winter slash snowy themed levels. Absolutely amazing. Um, can't, you know, recommend anything more than a snowy level. Uh, Jack and Daxter, my favorite part is the snowy one. Ratchet and Clank, it's the snowy plants. I don't know, they just always make snowy levels so beautiful. You know, there's just something about the whole majesticness of, um, snow. Also, I don't know why, but the music skips out every now and then. It's It doesn't do that to my mic, it's just the music. I think it's the setup I have. It The, the um, sound cord is a little loose because for some reason, PlayStation cannot record HD, uh, HD with HDMI. But, whatever, we do what we can do. This is Skello's Badlands, or it could be my headset. It's probably, honestly, my headset. This is a desert level. What's this? Well done, Spyro. The power from your orbs has activated the whirlwind. Okay, this also allows you to get to the first of the two speedways here. Remember, there's four speedways in the entire game. Three worlds, four speedways. This world having the most levels out of any uh, world. This world having the most levels? I said that right. Um, also, I highly recommend you just pay all the stuff that you can here. Legend has it that there is a portal to Zephyr here. And legend also has it that I know how to activate it. Furthermore, as I recall, the legend mentioned something about me activating it for uh, a small fee. Yeah, activating it for a small fee. Here's your 400 gems, greedy Thanks money to bags. Gem Spyro. With all this cash, I can open a lizard burger shop in Skelos Badlands. Oh, I always thought it was pronounced Skelos because I never listened to this, but it's apparently Skelos Badlands. And apparently, that opens up the world known as Zephyr, which is, I, I think it's technically the biggest level in this entire world, so, that's a little bit of information. There's Metro Speedway, which we could probably do in this video if everything goes according to plan. How did I miss this basket? Oh, man. See, there's our portal to Summer Plains, and now this is important. Oh, well. I bet a rich dragon like you wouldn't mind cashing in a few gems to learn how to climb. I'd be willing to teach you for, say, I don't know, a small fee? Stop saying a small fee. 500 gems is not a small fee. You won't regret it. Okay, when you see a wall surface that looks climbable, like the one to my left here, just jump onto it, and you will grab it with your claws. Use and use the d-pad to move up and down. We don't need to know the controls, man. But yeah, there's another 500 bucks. We'll be down to 1,200 after that. But it is very important to get that. Plus, we kind of need it to do all the backtracking. You know, otherwise, all the backtracking would be pointless because we need the ladder for literally everything. I believe there's only two levels here that you can't 100%. There's Scorch, which is, guess what? An well, I guess one's a Badlands. This one's technically a desert. Now... Uh, the two levels that you can't complete are, here's one of them, being Fracture Hills. It's a Scottish Hills theme level. Oh, uh, Spyro, hello. I was just having trouble with this door, and I think some orb power might unstick it. I see you've collected a good number of orbs there. Only eight orbs. We have how many orbs? How many orbs do we have? Eighteen. We have ten more than what we need. But anyways, like I was saying, Fracture Hills is one of two levels that you can't complete here. The other one is Shady Oasis, I believe, and it's, guess what, another desert level, but it's inside. Magma Cone. Um, it's a mountainous volcano world. Oh, great. Money Bags is here to steal more of my money. As if we didn't give that damn fat bear enough. Also, he's down there ready to steal more of your money. Yes, he is literally everywhere, and he wants to take your money. <laughs> That's also what the other speedway is, though. Uh, this is the next boss. See, down here, though, we can see how many orbs are there. The other portal outside, for some reason, didn't show us. Don't exactly know why. Now, this one, though, only costs $100. Well, or 100 gems, I should say. Not really dollars. So, this one is actually really cheap and worthwhile getting. I would love to let you enter this speedway free of charge, Spyro. Love to. Unfortunately, the speedway rules require me to charge a small fee. Yeah, 100 gems, whatever, here you go. 
I see speedway. See, now it shows the orbs. Maybe it only shows the orbs on the speedways right away. I don't actually know. And now, uh, we just have to go and activate this over here, and we should be good for a while. I can let you into the little castle over there in exchange for a few gems. What do you say? Eh, sure. 400's not a few. No one's been through that portal in years. I thought I'd never find a sucker. Uh, I mean, you're a shrewd customer, Spyro. You're an asshole, Moneybags. But dude, we actually do need to go over there. And there's not an option to just, like, not pay you and kick your ass or something, so not much I could do about it. Now, why open that? There are gems here. And this is Shady Oasis. Oh, I also forgot to mention there was a portal out there called Breeze Harbor. It's also another level that kind of ties in with Zephyr. Like, occasionally you'll find a few levels like that. I like Fracture Hills and Magma Cone are kind of similar with, like, the creatures that live there and stuff like that. So it happens a little bit in this game. Not, not very often, but it does time to time. Boop, boop, boop. Now, we have to take this whirlwind up and there's randomly just Zoe there. Now we're on top of the world! Woohoo! I'm trying to record a lot before my girlfriend gets home. It's like really early today, so uh, I'm trying to get a lot of recording in before that time. You guys are probably also wondering, where the hell are the orbs here? They're actually both together, surprisingly. They're like literally a few seconds apart. So you have to get to the top of like the uh, castle, and you fly here to this island with the orb. And also, it's a bunch of 25s, hence why we were getting so many small gems. Also, I don't believe there's anything... Anything back that way? No, I don't think there is. So what we have to do is we have to go this way. Don't know what he's pointing at. I'm assuming I had missed some gems down there. Which I always tend to do. Because, I, I don't know, I always rush Spiral because I know what I'm doing. So No, we didn't miss anything. He was just doing it in a weird, awkward um, position. It's like, pointing over here. Wait, no, that's not where the gems are. They're, in over, they're over in a different direction. Stupid dude. Anyways, let's go to Metro Speedway. Yes, we made it back to 1,023. I think we'll probably have, I don't know, 1,800 or so by the time we're done. Maybe. Maybe it's like 1,600. I don't know. So at least have 1,400. Nah, I'm going to say 1,500. It's all these birds. This one's weird. This one you don't actually complete everything right away. Base jumpers! Hey guys, how you guys doing? Man, all these, all this craziness going on here. Oh hey, there's only two jumpers left. Hey, we're missing a birdie. Are we missing? Whoa! Whoa, 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 game, what the hell was that? Okay, you know what? Screw that. I don't know what the hell happened. Ow. But... That went bad, and I swear we missed the pigeon somewhere. I honestly don't know what the hell happened. So here are the pigeons. Plus there's three out there, right? Wait, yeah, so what the hell? We missed a pigeon. Randomly missed a pigeon. Are they all worth- oh, the jumpers are worth three, and the pigeons are worth two. Okay, I don't care that I missed you. Wait, unless maybe I didn't grab this pigeon last time. That could that could also be it. Now we just need that one base jumper over here. There we go. Now we can continue on over this way. We're probably gonna be cutting it close on time, because I don't know, I'm really sloppy today. And these arches are only worth two. And I believe these guys, surprisingly, are only worth one. They are only worth one. Slow sign, guys, because apparently you need, like, 50 employees slash worker dudes here just going, Yo, go slow right here. It's like I wouldn't have guessed to go slow the first time I seen a guy, let alone have 50 bajillion. And this is a speedway on purpose. Like, they legitimately make this a speedway, apparently. So, they know that Spyro's going to be here to do some weird shenanigans. Yahoo! Now, we have to go do the secret mission. And the secret mission mi mission, mission is actually in the waterfall, right here. 
talk to the mayor. We've been having a crime problem here in Metro Speedway, but I think you might be able to help. A band of cat burglars have been raiding my re-election funds by scaling the walls of the buildings. Would you be willing to help get rid of them? Uh, sure. Why not, dude? And yeah, The Hunter. I like how his name is The Hunter. It's literally just Hunter with a magic jetpack. I have to fly and you get a jetpack. But see, they at least made these challenges a little more fun. They're not as annoying as they were in um, Spire 1. I know I haven't played Spire 1 on this channel yet, but if you guys go to Canadian Gamer or to Solar Warlock, you guys will see me play uh, Sp Spire 1. I've actually, on uh, Solar Warlock, I actually played all three. Uh, for some reason, though, the third, the third game went really bad because for some reason the mic didn't record in the last two episodes, so it screwed things up really made me sad because it was my like most enthusiastic let's play ever on that channel because I actually did something that I never did before and I was so happy about it but uh whatever well done well done you really taught them a lesson yay three orbs in 11 minutes it's actually not that good but anyway just give me my 400 gems and I'll be out of here I don't know, I really do like the whole clouded background. I don't know, I found old games to have way better backgrounds. Like, the new games are cool and all, that they're, they're so realistic and such, but I really don't care about realism. I just care about playability. It's like Call of Duty. It may look more realistic now, but with all due respect, I preferred it when it was actually a good game, not a piece of shit. And there are not really two red gems there. Do not look, do not listen to that. Summer Forest is lying. Oh yeah, we have to backtrack to Glimmer, Sunny Beach, and the Homeworld. So, um, closest place to here is actually Glimmer. So we'll go to Glimmer first. I believe this game also has, like, a, once you beat the game, you get, like, a super fireball power-up. Seems to be a common thing in the Spyro series. <laughs> Except for the first game. The first game literally had no, like, once you beat the super bonus world there, that was it. Or Nasty's Loot, I should say. It's also the only place where, like, the... Actually, no. The third game is the one with the weird name Bonus World. It's, like, Super Bonus Round. Yuffie Bung is actually going to be getting to that the day that this video gets up, I assume. Also, I'm assuming today will be his Pizza Cats episode, due to the fact that I think that's his new Sunday game. Now, it's a really weird game. A lot of people play it, and it's actually met with good uh, expectations. Or, well, good feedback, but... I don't know. Get on his channel, a lot of people don't want to see it, and I don't know why. I, for one, actually really enjoy it. Now, what we have to do is we actually have to go and kill all these enemies off. It's annoying, but we do need to be able to activate the, uh, the portal. Like, the flight portal. I'm, uh, hoping it's only 12. I'm pretty sure 12 will be enough. Thank you, zap me, biatch. Here we go. Now all we have to do is we have to do this challenge inside a cave. Yeah, I know, all this just to do something very simple. I always feel like the game's backtracking is never worthwhile, just due to the fact that it's easy challenges. Like, you'd expect to have like some kind of challenge or some kind of awesome, difficult thing going on, but no. And there we go. So now you guys got a colorful gem indoors as well. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. For a while, I was afraid we were going to have to cancel tonight's baseball game. Here, somebody mix this orb in with a baseball. Um, I don't get it. Baseball game inside? How are you going to play a baseball game inside here? You still have to, like, clearly make a place where you can actually play baseball. Like, look at that! This ground is not designed for it. This music here is also the intro music, like, on their intro screen. And there we go. Glimmer is 100% done. 47 gems. 1470. So I'll probably do the two levels that we can't get 100% on last. Um, in Summer Forest. So that way, you know, we don't have to do the whole, Oh my god, we have, we can't get 100% thing again, you know? I absolutely hate that. Um, oh yeah, Sunny Beach. 
A sunny beach in the home world. So far, so good. This video is going smooth. We haven't had any. Have we? We? I don't think we've died in this game yet, have we? Oh, literally the hundred percent on both is right here. Uh, also, I believe this is the only home world with four orbs. Second world has two, and then the last one has three. So you literally have a matter of like each. No, you can levels only have either two or I can, actually never mind. I guess speedways do have one orb. But eh, never mind. Sunny Beach. Time to go and get all those orbs. Yeah, exactly 20 gems, so yeah. I'm gonna have 15. You can also replay the intro with triangle if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. I don't know why I always sing that. But yeah, honestly, we just have to get closer to the ending. We don't even need to kill anybody. As long as we get to the ending. Hey, it only took one flame that time. Now, one of the challenges is actually right... Challenges. The, some of the missing gems were right here. Actually, most of the missing gems are right there. Hey, we actually made it up here without them being here. <laughs> Whoa! Missed. Now, before we actually deal with him, I wonder if we can... Okay, yeah, we can go and get the gems. The rest of the gems are actually just underwater here. There we go. Now we just have to do his challenge, which is literally the same thing twice. Your turtle friends happen to make a very good soup. If I can catch them, you can try to save them if you like. But I'm feeling awfully hungry. Okay, Master Chef. Difficulty 2. I don't know what you're cooking in that turtle soup, but it's kind of green. Actually, it kind of makes me want soup of some kind. Not not turtle soup. Well, actually, I don't even know what a turtle tastes like. I know you can eat turtle, but if it's not cooked properly, you can easily get salmonella food poisoning. And I really don't feel like getting sick. I believe it's only three turtles, though. Yep. So, you saved a few turtles. There are more where those came from. Here, take this orb and go away. Ha! <laughs> He's just gonna give us an orb to go away. Too bad we're not gonna go away. If you step a little closer to the pot, I'll start ringing my bell again. Oh, I guess we weren't actually supposed to talk to him again. I guess he just assumed that we knew. Like I knew, but I didn't know we didn't have to talk to him. Yo, where are the turtles? Where are the turtles? There's the turtle. You're gonna start getting a lot, so you can also use your flame breath or just knock them around. You don't have to knock them into the water right away as long as they don't go into the pot, because you lose if they go into the pot. See, like, this guy, we'll just hit him over there. Pretty sure he won't go into the water like that, but... Shit! No! Get out of here! You damn stupid turtles. Why are turtles so dumb? Oh wait, why are some of the turtles like little without shells and some of them like this? I don't get these turtles. I like how the second challenge is like way more difficult than the first. He's ringing this bell, which means there's more than just that one turtle, right? Yeah, there's one over here. Brah. Oh, that was it. You save every turtle on the beach. Here, take this. I was gonna use it to buy potatoes, but now I don't need it. Aww. We made the guy starve, and now he can't even get his damn potatoes. But there we go. Damn it! <laughs> I thought I could cheat it, but whatever. Sweet! We did another level. I hope you guys can hear my stomach making weird sounds. I don't know why, but it is. Wow, so 19 minutes in and we did all of that. We literally did all the backtracking in the entire game so far. Though we don't... You know what? I actually think we do have time to do the other speedway in this episode. So, let's go to Autumn Plains. <laughs> Autumn plants. I actually. Oh, I guess there. I guess technically there'd be another color gem in the last world. We do know what the last world is, though. It's Winter Tundra. Literally, they actually told us that. 
It's like, it's like spoiler alert much. Like, you know where Ripto came from? I believe every boss has like a cutscene about Ripto and his goons. Now, let's go to Icy Speedway. Woohoo! Don't know why I didn't do that first. I didn't think I was going to have this much time. Like, as long as the video doesn't really go over 30 minutes, then it's in my recording time, you know, length. Now, these guys, these are weird because you have to kill these little um, cavemen in the air and then on the ground. They actually count as the same ones. See? Also, the supercharge is like crazy fast, so be careful. Oh, man. Whoa! Almost touched the water there. I also got these weird sea monster Nessie things. Are you guys plesiosaurs? Also, I'm missing a few. Also, we got some weird ass skater dudes here. Wait, are you the last one? Wait, no, last two, pardon me. Also, that's where the secret orb is, it's in the igloo. This one can be a little bit tedious, not really difficult, but tedious. Like, if you make a slight wrong movement. But then again, it's meant to be a challenge, not super duper easy. See, I don't even know if it's gonna really take a minute to do this. Has it taken a minute? Because there's literally the last one, let's charge. And we got a skill point for beating within a certain amount of time. And now let's go get the secret orb. Which is in this igloo right here. Boom. Hey Hunter. Good job, Spyro. Looks like you're ready for a more serious challenge. How about a little paragliding? You're not afraid of heights, are you? Um, obviously I'm in a speedway, so no. And we just have to go through the rings. This one could probably get away with it being difficulty five, not four. Like there are a lot of five star challenges. Like, was the turtle one five or four star? Either way, I think it should have been three. Like, I don't even know if there are any one-star challenges in the game. Uh, you're gonna get into some crazy difficult ones, though, later on. Like, especially in Factor Tales, like the one that you can't... Actually, you can do part one of it. But I recommend just doing part one and part two in the same... Like, at the same time, just because... I believe it resets if you go back. So then you have to do part one again. It's just very annoying. Also, we almost got all the rings. Are you kidding me? Hey. Dude, I'm good at this. Trust me, bro. But for some reason, the game decided to move me too much to the left and not enough to the right. I don't know, maybe it's like Hunter's positioning that makes it difficult there. Normally I don't fail in the last one, I fail in the second to last one. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, I don't know, this part doesn't really make me angry, though. Then again, Spyro never makes me angry, even like the most difficult spots. It's like my go-to game when I'm frustrated with other games. Like, I can beat this game in just a few hours. Like, I beat it in the time frame my girlfriend took to beat, like... I beat all three games in the time frame it took my girlfriend to beat Stick of Truth, and that didn't take her very long to beat either. Wait, that was in a perfect line that time, I swear. Way to go, Spyro! You're even better than I am! Okay, thanks, bro. Yes, 26 orbs! And now we can leave, because that'll probably end off this episode. Well, obviously it'll, obviously it'll end off this episode. So yeah, anyways, in the next episode, I will probably meet you at Crystal Glacier. So until next time, guys, stay retro. This is retro, retro. This is Nostalgia Scott signing off. Peace out, guys.